Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Cropping allows you to trim away parts of an image that are unnecessary, which can enhance the composition of your image. You can crop an image by using the Crop tool in the toolbox, which has the most options for cropping available to you. To crop an image, first click the Crop tool to enable that feature. In the Tools Options bar, you can then select a Crop Type by clicking one of the buttons. You can choose the Rule of Thumb, Grid, Golden Ratio, and None. If you select one of these overlays other than None, it will appear as you crop your image. Each of the overlays relates to commonly accepted compositional techniques in photography. If you want to constrain your cropping area, then you can use the Crop Preset Options drop-down to select one of the preset aspect ratios, such as 3x5 and 4x6, which will restrict the crop that you create to that size. If you select the Use Photo Ratio option, the crop will be restricted to the same ratio as the current image. You can also create your own by simply choosing the No Restriction option from the drop-down and entering your own values into the text boxes that appear below. Finally, you can also set the resolution for the cropped image by entering a value in pixels into the text box to the right. Then to make your crop, simply click and drag within the image. When you do, you will see a dotted line around the perimeter of the image and the lines of any overlay that you chose, along with handles at the corners and sides of the image. Hold your mouse pointer over any of these handles until your cursor turns into a double-sided arrow. You can click and hold one of the handles as you drag it to change the size of the crop. Remember, if you chose to constrain the proportions of the image, the other side will adhere to that setting. The area that appears within the dotted line of the outside border is what you will keep. You can also move the crop by clicking and dragging inside of the crop to move it around the image. Now, once you have made a crop, you will see two buttons appear at the bottom of the cropped image. You can click the Cancel button at any time to cancel the current crop operation altogether, or you can click the Commit or Checkmark button to complete the desired crop. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.